This is how to make money fast in Forza Horizon 5. Whether you're a new player or you've been playing for a while, it's an easy, fast track to get millions of credits per hour completely safely and legitimately. This method will always work, you will never have to worry about it being patched, and of course, it's certainly very, very effective. Let's get started with exactly what you guys need to start. First off, you need a good car. There are very many cars you guys can use for this. One, of course, being the best in the game will always be the Hunicorn V2. The reason why this car is so good is because it comes with a car skill multiplier of times eight. That means when you guys are earning skill points, you'll be able to build around 12 to 15% faster than a car with a skill multiplier of times seven. So it's gonna be slightly more efficient. Compared to Formula Drift cars, they're still very good options and one that is very good to use if you guys don't have the Hunicorn V2 is they're super accessible, only around 300,000 credits, but most of you guys will have a few of these for free. So a very good option. The Hunicorn will be the best if you guys have enough credit to spend. But regardless of what car you guys have, car mastery perks, make sure they're effectively maxed out. You guys can max them to fully to the brim if you guys want to. Not too many skill points, a very worthwhile investment as it'll be pivotal to making a lot more skill points and therefore money throughout the course of this. But now that you've got your car, you've got skill mastery perks maxed out, Head to the Aerodome Drag Strip on this part of the map. It's a very straight and easy area to go in and farm up skill points. Super easy. As soon as I get here, I'm going to get straight into it and start drifting. Pretty much going to drift in S-curves. Very easy and straightforward. Like I said, guys, it only takes around one minute to be able to get 10 skill points from doing this. And I'll show you guys a few tips and tricks a lot of people often overlook when they're talking about this method to be able to do it as effectively as possible. Now, one thing to keep in mind, guys, in a skill chain, the most skill points you can possibly earn is 10. The cutoff for that depends on what your skill multiplier is, what I was talking about before. In this car, the cutoff is around 62,000 points, which means that number at the top that right now says 13,000, as soon as that hits around 62,000, you've hit your cutoff. Any points you get above that will effectively be pointless, which means even if you guys get 1 million points in one chain, you're still only gonna get 10 skill points. What that means, you wanna be as efficient as possible. You don't wanna be wasting time earning more skill points when you're still only getting your max of 10. So you wanna time when you guys stop drifting very well. If you're in a Formula Drift car, this point is at 72,000 or any car with a skill multiplier of times seven. So you wanna factor that into account. But pretty much when you guys are drifting like this, you're actually earning skill points faster than what the animation will show on screen. What that means is that your points are actually higher than the number on screen. So if you guys are thinking, oh, well, I'll wait to the number this on screen to get to let's say 62,000 and I stop. No, you wanna time it because you'll actually stop beforehand because your points are actively gonna be around 20,000 higher than it shows on screen or a little bit less than that actually. I'm gonna stop at around 47, 48,000, right towards the end of this lap here. And I'll show you guys, I'll continue to build up for quite a while to go in and show that point exactly as to how it works. Let's go ahead and stop here and you'll see they will continue to build for quite a while. So if you guys are doing this in a Formula Drift car, you'd probably want to wait a little bit longer, around 10,000 points later. So I'd probably stop at around 55 to 60,000 if you're in a Formula Drift car, as you want them to keep building up to around 72,000. You'll have a bit of trial and error when you're doing this, and once you guys have done enough times, you'll find the perfect time to stop for you. It'll be different for everyone. It depends how good and efficient you are at drifting. But as you guys can see, I stopped at around 47,000. It's still building. And like I said, as soon as I cross 62,000, I'm wasting time. So I've already hit the point where I would have gone 10 skill points. So I look at how many thousand points it was over, and adjust it for next time. So let's say it stops at 70,000. I stopped at 47,000 this time. That's 8,000 over what I wanted to hit. So I'll stop 8,000 later next time, which means next time, or well, 8,000 earlier, sorry, which means next time I would only want to stop at around 41,000. I don't want to get too much uh, math into it, but you guys get what I'm saying. I'm stopping right now at 71,000. This will be perfect if you're in a Formula Drift car, probably stopped around 47,000, 48,000 area. And you guys will see that's 10 skill points right there. However, here's the next massive tip, which will be super important to you guys saving time. You don't want to be waiting 30 seconds at the end of every single chain for the skill points to stop accumulating. You want a faster way of doing it and that's why this guy's this car tip comes into play so pretty much you guys will see around the track there are two main events there's a cross country event and of course a drag event not everyone would have unlocked these the one most people have first will be the drag event if you don't have this do some drag races unlock this it's gonna be very important to making money by doing this race because pretty much let's say i'm at the point right now where i want to stop and i want to cash out my skill points and then get started with a new chain instead of waiting and sitting there and letting them build up go to one of these events enter an event back out instantly and start drifting that'll instantly bank your chain you guys will save a lot of time by doing that super important but guys now let's get into converting those skill points into super wheel spins and just before i do like i said if you guys want I've got so many. I want a modded account from MitchCutters.com and you guys can get one of these too. We also have a credit pack that's going to be applied to the existing account of yours, rare car, full mod packs and more, all safe and secure at MitchCutters.com with almost 10,000 trust below reviews. We also have a COD, Modern Player 3, GDF 5 and EAFC 24 packs on our website. Check it all out guys, link in the bio, but let's get started with converting these into super wheel spins. Now there are a couple ways you guys can do so. Very easy and straightforward in terms of how it works.
works. Now, the first car you guys can use for this is going to be the Ford uh, Puma 4th Edition. One thing to keep in mind, guys, you can only actually use this car if you have got the Ultimate Edition of the game, because it's actually a, a, technically it's a DLC car. I'll still show you guys exactly anyway, even if you don't have it, still watch this bit, because you'll learn a lot for the next cars. Pretty much, if you guys buy one of these cars and the person who listed it has already used the perks, you will not be able to use them again. So it's very important you try to find a car where the perks have not been used. But you might be thinking, well, how would I know if the perks on the car have been used or not? You don't. There's no way to know for sure, but there are a few things you can keep in mind. One, if you see a duplicate cell listing up a bunch of these, if you see one cell listing up 10 of these, you know he's doing this in bulk, right? You know he's done what he's already got all the perks, he's trying to sell the cars to make some money, he's definitely already used the perks. So look out for duplicate cells, and you want to buy a car that's fully stock. This one has no upgrades, no tunes, as well as most of them, because the reason why, if you're buying a car that's fully stock, it has the highest likelihood the person who's selling it hasn't even used the car. If they've upgraded it, they put a tune on, they put a design on, you know it's driven the car, you know it's upgraded, and therefore it's probably also spent the time making the most of those car mastery perks. If a person hasn't even touched their car, there's a good chance it's not actually doesn't really care about the car itself. The reason it's selling it is just to get some quick credits for it. It's trying to clear out cars in his garage, make some money selling cars without really looking into them or using their perks. That's one thing to keep in mind. It's very important for the longevity of this, as you guys will make a lot more money if you're doing decisive about which cars you buy. You're not just wasting credits on cars where the perks have already been used. This guy's got one wheel spin, as well as a super wheel spin, as well as 75,000 credits, which almost fully covers the cost of buying it. And I could resell this car if I wanted to. There's a good chance it might sell and make even more money back to fully get a refund for the credits I spent on it. But now, this is the best car in the game for this right now, the Bugatti Devo. You want to apply the same principles. Look out for a car where the perks haven't been used. Let's say this one could be a good option. I'll keep scrolling a little bit further down for this. You can see this about you guys. Let's sell a bunch of these. You know it's doing this in bulk. I wouldn't buy any of these if I, if I were you guys. I'd say these two options could be good. I'll go in and buy one of these out. You can bid on them if you want for the sake of waste or saving money, sorry. But for the sake of the video, I'm going to actually buy them out just because it's instant. I wouldn't recommend bidding on them to be honest because you'll spend so much time going back and forth on bids in the last few minutes of each auction. You may as well just spend that time, you know, actually grinding out the skill points and making more money overall than just wasting uh, wasting time trying to buy cars for cheaper because either way, you'll probably resell them and make the money back anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Car mastery perks, have they been used in this car? They hadn't been. Again, very simple. The perks in this car are very good. You get one wheel spin, two super wheel spins, as well as 50,000 credits. Very easy and straightforward. The last car I recommend for this, I won't show the auction out steps because it's the same thing for all of them, but another car I would recommend if you want to switch up a little bit, as the Bugatti is super popular for this right now, is the Nissan Fairlady Z 4th Edition. It's super easy to get, very good perks. It's got one super wheel spin and only costs six skill points. The best value out of pretty much any car in the game, six skill points for one super wheel spin, crazy value. Value. Downside, you don't get other credit perks or you don't get two super wheel spins and another normal spin like you do with other cars, but six skill points per spin, that's crazy good value. If you guys are making money and you want to save your skill points, consider using that Nissan Fairlady to see. Head over to MitchCutters.com if you guys want credits, rare cars, monitor accounts and more. And of course, drop a like and subscribe and how this goes for you, comment down below.